Hey everybody, JR Specie here with another box break video and also a PSA uh, submission return. So, this is the PSA submission return obviously. It was the autograph one I've been telling you guys about. Uh, the Roy Holiday autographs, mostly, that I, I got signed in person at PNC Stadium back in 2000. It was his last uh, stint with the Syracuse Sky Chiefs before he got called up to the Blue Jays and stayed there and the majors for the rest of his career. Anyways, after that we're going to open up a blaster box of uh, 19 Heritage and we'll open up these four. Um, these are the packs that you get in the big bulk box at Target. You know, the big black box and you know, you pull the packs from the bottom. So I got this from that. Uh, it's like a feeder box. I can't remember exactly what they're called, but it's like a feeder box. Anyways, so we're going to check those out. So first, let's get into this right here. So I spent 150 four dollars I believe on this box right here and and uh, that just and, and I just wanted to get them slab because after holidays passing you know his autographs have gone up a lot and I just wanted to get them slab so that um, you know in the event that I ever needed some money I would just sell them so I got these signed literally Behind home plate, he was sitting there and he was doing radar because in AAA they make the pitchers go out and do the radar gun when the other when they're not pitching basically. So so that's where I got these signed. I got them signed uh, early in the game. I think for like second third inning. I went over there, you know, and he's sitting there with a couple other guys and uh, had my cards in a book. And signed them for me. Okay, great. That was wonderful. He signed all my cards. I think I had like eight or nine. I traded a couple of them away with, with a buddy who was an, another autograph hound with me. I probably traded them for like some Alfonso Soriano autographs that we got when Columbus Clippers came by. Anyways, uh, two days later, literally, I go back to another home game. Holiday's back there doing uh, doing radar again. A couple other pitchers, you know. And they're just there, you know, sitting sitting in the crowd with... with with all the with all the fans you know and the watchers anyways so i go up to him again around same time second third inning in between innings i say hey mr holiday you know would you mind and i had more cards because i was buying cards all the time and getting them shipped because i was going to, to the sky chiefs games all the time and getting tons of stuff signed so i go back up and i had a fresh probably six eight cards and i said hey mr holiday you know would you mind uh signing my cards for me so he takes my 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 album you know because i had them like on the you know the nine you know, nine cards on a page with the photo mounting corners. And he looks at them, and he looks at me, and he looks at the cards again, and he looks back at me and says, didn't I just sign for you like yesterday? And I said, well, actually it was two days ago, Mr. Holiday. Yeah, you signed for me right here, actually, as a matter of fact. And he hands them back to me and says, no, I'm not signing anymore for you. And I'm like, really, dude? <laughs> I go, because you signed a few cards for me two days ago. You and I... So anyways, you know, I had I had a similar thing happen with Tom Coughlin, the old manager for the, uh, the co head coach for the Giants, uh, New York Giants football team. I was at training camp in Albany. I got him at one spot. He signed, uh... oh, no, I'm sorry. I got him in the same spot. Uh, he signed my, my yearbook. And then I had, a, I had a baseball, and I said, would you mind signing, you know, I said, hey, coach, would you mind signing my baseball too? And he's like, I just signed your your program for you. What do you want? What do you want this? What do you want another one for? I said, well, I just collect them. You know, I, I love collecting autographed baseballs. You know, and he's like, all right, whatever. So he takes it and signs it. But you know, these guys make a fuss about the stupidest things. So, anyways, here and I've never sold any of my autographs I've gotten in person. The most I've done is trade a couple with my buddy who was also an autograph hound. You know, say say he got a bunch of one guy and I got a bunch of another, so we would just trade. But I never sold them, and I still have never sold any of the autographs I've gotten in person. So, anyways, here we go. There's also an, uh, another autograph in here. I haven't checked these out yet. Obviously, because I just got the box in. But... Alright, that's not a good sign. <laughs> that's not a good sign. And that's not a good sign. And that's a bunch of, okay. So, all right, everybody. So I spent $155 on this, and 
Let's see what I got. Oh, would you look at that? Card inside. You know what that means, don't you? My Anthony Daniels that I got signed at a Comic-Con came back with questionable authenticity. Questionable. Now that is not a quick, free, in-person autograph. That is a spot-on Anthony Daniels nice autograph. And they gave it a questionable authenticity. So that's beautiful. And judging by the fact that there's no graded cards in here, or slab cards, let's see what they did with my holidays. Now, all these cards I got signed in person. Myself. In person. In person. In person. In person. In person. And they gave me questionable authenticity on them all. $154 to get these guys to slab these. And, well, that's a big kick in the nuts. So, uh, I don't know what options I have. Um, maybe I'll call PSA and say, hey, can you give me a free second opinion because I got all these signed in person? Because that's annoying. Okay, well, anyways, so that uh, opening, which I uh, have told you guys about for quite a while, uh, was a big flop. Here's my pack and slip. Boom. And here's my submission. Submitted these at the Long Beach show. Cost $154 right there. So that's lame. Alright, anyways. So now I gotta figure out what to do with these things. Okay, let's get into something. I'm oh, sorry guys, that just kind of ruined my mood. But anyways, let's check these out. Okay, so we got there's your odds if you want to stop and pause it as soon as it comes into focus. Okay. Uh, I think the high numbers on these are over 400, I believe. So I'm looking for some some fresh stuff to take and get authentic, um, get graded by PSA. So I'll pull out, you know, the good stuff. Blake Snell, Cy Young Award winner. That's the candy lid. Austin Romine, Jackie Bradley, Ian Hep, and Judge. I like getting Judge stuff um, graded. Even the new stuff, I don't really care. I like getting those graded and uh, Harper. I also like Harper and Trout, Chris Bryant, you know. And then there's you know, a few other guys here and there. But I've been really having some fun with uh, with getting cards, new cards graded even. And just kind of adding to the PC, you know. Like I'm going to, I've been getting all of my Jeter cards graded. Uh, there's another candy lid, Aaron Nola. Um, all my Jeters have been getting graded, and I've got tons of them. And I, and I, I really got hooked up because I, I, I started getting a lot graded back in the day. Or I'm sorry, I started buying a lot right when he came on the scene, when Jeter came on the scene. Um, so I've got, I've got a, a ton of the really good '90s inserts and stuff like that. I was just looking for short prints real fast, or for high numbers. Uh, so uh, I've got a lot of those those really nice high end. As the Albies, I got a lot of those nice high end uh, '90s inserts. I'm pretty sure I have some of the totally certified Mirror Golds and stuff like that too. All right. Sorry, I'm going kind of slow here, guys. I'll try to get to the other box a little quicker. And another candy lid. Hey, Bryce Harper. So if anybody has any, Bryce Harper, Mike Trout, uh, Aaron Judge, Chris Bryant, any Mets cards or Yankee cards uh, you don't want, you can send them to the address listed below because I love collecting cards. And they don't have to be worth a lot of money for me to love them. You know, I just, I love cards, guys. That's all there is to it. So let's open this one down here.
So uh, I didn't see anything spectacular in those packs. I think they cost me about two dollars a piece, or maybe three dollars a piece. Uh, this right here's got uh, okay. So Target is exclusive for the candy lid, so that's cool. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. This is my first blaster box these have opened. I got about uh, I don't know. I got a lot of these. I've, I've been buying up blaster boxes uh, like crazy, especially older stuff. So I got a lot of like 17 and 18 heritage. And stuff like that i've been buying up uh you know so i can do future videos and stuff like that you know and then uh keep keep opening up stuff for you guys and uh so i'll open up more of these uh, i'll open up more heritage because I've, I've got a bunch i'll try to mix it up with other things like you know i'll do like a vintage box then i'll, I'll open up something new i also got a bunch of like the top chrome i kind of just been buying them like you know people buy them they save them and then they hope for, uh, they hope that somebody gets big. Wow, Chris Archer looks, looks weird in that pirate uniform. Um, you know, I got a lot of the, the update, heritage update, and stuff like that. Um, what else? Tops update. And you still find them at Walmart. You can find them like in the clearance bin with, uh, with, uh, you know, update stuff. Like a lot of 17, so there's nice trout. That's, that looks pretty centered. It's probably not 50-50 all the way around, but and uh, anyways, I've been I've been buying those up and just kind of sitting on them a little bit. Another Harper. So I got two of my favorites in there, Trout and Harper. You know, hoping somebody makes it big, and if they don't, that's okay. I'll have more stuff to open up, and we can do more of these great videos. If I'm going through these too slow, you know, leave a comment below. Let me know. I'm going too fast. Leave a comment. Let me know. There we go. So, not much so far in this blaster box. I also got, I picked up one. They got. I seen the mega boxes out, so I picked up some mega boxes too. I'll open up those here uh, soon. I'll do a video. Oh, there's another one. John Carlo Stanton, candy lid. Freddie Freeman. And yeah, one of these days I'll do a video and I'll just show you a bunch of the bunch of the boxes I've got for future breaks to open. I'm still waiting for a 381 card uh, grading submission to come back too. When that comes back, I'll probably do that in four different videos. I'll probably do 100 cards per video. Hey, Thurman Munson flashback, the unrookie. Austin Romine. That one looks like a variation. I don't know if it is or not. I don't know. I don't think so. After this last couple packs here, I'll buzz through those real fast and see if I got any variations or high numbers. I'll just check the codes really fast. If you guys don't mind bearing with me, you can always uh, skip ahead. Uh, and I'll let you, and you'll be able to see. All-star rookie. You'll be able to see what I get. And it's got to be like a, it's got to be usually a couple high numbers, you know, in a blaster box. You would about, you know, oh, I see a chrome refractor in this one. Mookie, maybe it'll be somebody cool. Zimmerman, Trumbo. Oh, we'll save it for last. Why not? It's probably the only good card that's going to be in all here. And it probably won't even be actually be that good. But J.D. Martinez. And it's, I think it's Nolan Arenado. No, it's not. It's Nomar Mazzara. Chrome Refractor. Pretty nice. Pretty nice for you Ranger fans out there. Numbered out of 570. Right there. Alright, let's take a quick buzz and see if we got any. Uh, Mookie Betts got a little ding corner right there, if you can see that. Come on, right there. Okay, let's quickly just take a quick buzz and see if we got any any uh, variations or anything. I know that is because that's a high number. Or uh, insert. Okay, 112. There's a high number. I'll show you those here in a minute. Uh, let's see. Just checking codes right quick. Like I said, you know, you can fast forward to this part if you don't like it. Uh, I will also try to learn how to edit and fast forward through these parts. Maybe I'll try with... Maybe I'll, I'll try with this... Uh, 
Um, sorry, I hear my coffee pot making noise. Hold on a second, hey, everybody. Sorry, I was watching a baseball video and <laughs> my computer just decided to start the video back up. Anyway, let me see. Where was I about? Right about here-ish. Alright, yeah, so you can definitely fast through forward through that part. Okay. No more there. One more buzz through right quick. Okay. So a couple couple high numbers so far. These high number sets are uh, are fun to build. They're not too hard, especially if you can get some uh, um, hobby boxes, and then you get a lot more. You get a lot more, and you know the odds of pulling them are a lot better. But you know, and a lot of times you can get a hobby box uh, for a lot of these things. For you know, I mean, you know, you know, if you're gonna get 24 packs. In a hobby box for a hundred bucks, or you're gonna get uh, what's it, seven times 28 packs in a non hobby box and these blasters. You might as well spend the extra money on the hobby hobby box. You get less cards, but you get better odds, you get more inserts, uh, and so on and so forth. So, okay, so three high numbers Starling Castro in the Marlins uniform, Goldie, and D Gordon in the Mariners uniform, Flash Gordon's son. All right, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll get another video up here uh, really soon. I'm just gonna decide what I wanna what I wanna open. I got a lot of fun stuff. You know, I got a bunch of like the WWE mystery boxes. I got a bunch of the Heritage WWE uh, blaster boxes because they're fun. I love the Heritage products uh, in WWE. Uh, I got a bunch more Yu-Gi-Oh, a bunch more Pokemon. I got a ton of Legend of Blue Eyes, the newer uh, the newer packs of the Unlimited. Um, I got tons of Yu-Gi-Oh mystery packs. Uh, tons and tons of Pokemon. I mean, I got tons of stuff to open. I just have to find the time to sit down and open it and make a video. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. Check out the the, the past videos. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.